Hey guys, so I thought I would just do a quick review on these Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses that I see popping up in all of my uh, YouTube video subscription box um, that everyone seems to talk about. Um, I was very skeptical about these when people started talking about them. Um, I'm really kind of, I, I'm not a huge fan of lip gloss and I have high expectations for lip gloss. I hate sticky lip gloss, I hate feeling the little glitter chunks in lip gloss. Um, so I was definitely a skeptic um, when people said how fabulous these were and I've even heard people say that they're better than MAC and that to me um, is not a huge um, like an expectation to live up to. I mean MAC lip glosses are nice and all but I wouldn't say they're like fabulous by any means. Um, but either way I definitely think after using these they are very comparable and they're very nice and I actually have four of them now. I initially went and picked up two. I picked up Peach Pop and Coral Reef and they look like this. And then I went back while they were on sale at CVS this past week and I picked up two more which is Peach Petal and Lilac. So I have four. I've, I've used them enough to think that I can do a legitimate review on them. Um, initially I will have to say um, the packaging of these is really nice. Um, very comparable to some high-end brands that it's not cheesy, has some bulk to it, it's really nice. Um, it, you know, has like the gold detailing. Um, comes with a doe foot applicator like that. I mean, it all depends on preference if that's what you like or you don't like. Um, another thing I like is that um, with the packaging at the, at, the pharma, uh, at the pharmacy, they have the um, plastic health shield over them so you don't have to worry about someone opening it up before you and trying it out. Um, it also leaves the name on the bottom, so you are able to remember the name of it, which is nice because a, a lot of drugstore lip glosses or lipsticks, when you take off the packaging, the name comes off. So, either way, um, I paid $5.99 um, for these. They were on sale at CVS, and then there was a co I got a coupon um, for $4 when you spend $10 in Revlon, so I went back and got these two and end up, ended up only spending, I think, $8 for both. So it's a really good deal. You'll probably find a sale on them um, no matter where you go. Um, compared to a MAC lip glass, um, I will hold one up. Um, you get um, 0.2 fluid ounces in the Revlon and 0.17 in a lip glass. So they are a little bit bigger and I definitely have to say very comparable to the MAC lip glasses. Um, the four that I have don't have any color. I mean, don't have any color. What kind of stupid thing is that to say? Um, don't have any shimmer, but they do have some in the permanent line that are shimmer. So if shimmer is your thing, um, they definitely do have that. Um, the three that I have here, the lilac, the pink pop, and the coral reef, I have heard that they're limited edition. But I'm not necessarily sure if that's true. Um, they are in the permanent, they have like permanent marks with the permanent line, at least at my CVS, so I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, but if you are questioning it, I would definitely say to go check them out, because um, I actually had a really hard time finding um, those colors. Um, and I do have them swatched here. Um, on the top, I have Coral Reef, then Pink Pop, you're not going to be able to see Peach Petal just because it's a nude. And then at the bottom here, I have um, Lilac. Um, they're not... Oop. Um, what else can I say about these? They're not sticky whatsoever. They have a nice pigmentation on your lips. You're probably not going to be able to see because it's actually getting dark outside. But I can try. Um, they leave your lips with a nice shine. It feels good going on your lips. They have a very light, um, like a buttercream scent, like very popular among lip glosses. They don't really have a smell like on your lips. You can kind of taste something, but they don't really overpower. Um, the staying power is really nice on these, and they are so pigmented, at least these two are, um, that you don't really need to put them over a lipstick unless you really want that extra color. They are very nice alone. Um... And yeah, so I definitely think um, if you are thinking about picking these up, it would definitely, you definitely won't be disappointed. They're really, really nice. Um, Revlon has definitely stepped it up with these lip glosses. Um, and yeah, so I guess that's pretty, pretty much it. I'm sorry for the rambling. 
and the noise, but I just wanted to post this up real quick. I haven't been posting very frequently just to, you know, share my findings. So either way, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll get, see you guys again in my next video. And sorry again for the rambling. I know. I'll be better. It's like almost like when you stop making YouTube videos, when you start up again, it's hard because you have to kind of get back in the groove of it, of not rambling and saying, I'm 100,000 times. So either way, I'll work on it. But either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again in my next video, I'm sure. All right, bye, guys.